Hello, ladies and gents. I am the Rev. We are back with more Chernobylite. And I think I finally got us all caught up. So hit that like button. Help me out. You guys have no idea how many times I've had to redo a couple of these uh, quest lines. When you start messing with time, it never goes good. Wow, it's great to see you, Igor. I've got a fan fucking spastic plan that you need to hear. <laughs> You're right, of course. Sounds fan fucking exciting. Stop bitching and be grateful there's someone here to do the thinking when you're not around. Anyway, listen up. I think the time has come to kill off the biggest knobber of them all. Oh, the suspense is killing me. Who's on your shit list today? Drumroll, please! -la 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 -la. General Kozlov, the single biggest NAR twat of them all! Time to end his miserable life. Pay back for what he did to my friends. And for his other shameful deeds, of course. Can't forget that. <laughs> You've got friends? That's new. Yeah, very funny. This fucker and his cronies iced my boys. Don't you ever joke about that. You fucking hear me? His lapdogs captured us. Tortured us. I got lucky. They just beat the ever-loving shit out of me and left me to die. What happened? He thought we were human trash. Something he could just dispose of. They tortured and killed my friends! <laughs> uh, I made it. Might have taken one too many blows to the head. Uh, who knows? Anyway, a perfect opportunity to exact revenge on this cocksucker's approaching. He's gonna give some kind of motivational speech to his private army of knobbers outside in Lenin Square. This sounds like a real opportunity. Taking Kolsov out is the only way to stop him from interfering with our plans. And to make him pay for his crimes, obviously. As much as I admire clean work, shooting him like a lame deer would be a mistake. We should make him talk first, learn everything we can so we can better prepare for our heist. Passwords, codes, guard routines. After we have what we need, then we off him. I also want to ask him about my brother. I need to know why he went to the trouble of killing Ruslan when he was just asking for a job. We are going to pull the Rat King's teeth one by one. Kozlov is one of his shiniest fangs and sharpest. But we should question him first. Killing him straight away would waste all the work we put into exposing his big plans and the end of the world and all that. Um, yeah, I think kidnapping him would be the smart way to bow about it. We need Kozlov alive. I'm open to suggestions. I can definitely help with that. The actual camp is located in Energetic, the former palace of culture. There are two ways in. The main entrance is probably guarded, of course, but they only post two guards at the side door. You know the place, right? Yeah, I lived here a long time ago, but... Some of the details are fuzzy. It's not complicated. Those NAR fuckers just walked in and make themselves at home. The front entrance is a no-go. But the side door will be a breeze. The guard detail is very light. Insultingly so. And that's where you come in, or go in, or whatever. Kaslov's digs are on the top floor. Once you get inside, it shouldn't be hard for a man of your talents to slip past the guards. Or kill them all. Security is a bit of a joke, like every fascist you ever met. They got cocky. They're not expecting anyone to snoop around. And remember, most of them will be distracted by Kozlov's speech. Maybe he'll even put them to sleep for us. This is a great opportunity, Mousy. The Rat King's minion will be vulnerable, alone, just waiting for you. The time has come to instill the fear of the great rat catcher in their black and shriveled hearts. Okay, I'm ready to talk to Kozlov. All right, so this is definitely new, we, and we couldn't do this without going back and getting uh, our she-wolf. So, let's see. Oh, wow, everybody, oh, everybody's, man, I just had these guys all at 
Oh, now they jumped to 90, 60, 88. Okay, well, everybody's kind on my side. I will let him stay at home, I guess. <laughs> Koslov, the most hated man in the zone. He's ruthless, but hardly a mastermind. Despite his civilized appearance, he may just be a mad dog, unleashed by the NAR. Still, you could probably learn a lot from him. He could be your ticket into the power plant. Bad news, Igor. What's going on? Kozlov is about to leave the NAR incumbent. Very convenient timing, isn't it? Convenient indeed. So, change of plans? Go to Hotel Policia, top floor. You'll have a great vantage point from up there. It will allow you to pinpoint Kozlov. Sounds good. Okay, so... Excellent. We should pursue this plan. This will bring us closer to defeating the Rat King. You're one psycho geezer, Terracan. But I like you because you love to stir shit up. Working with you is a real pleasure. You may be far from divine enlightenment, Sashka, but your heart is in the right place. Okay. We gotta get to the top of that building, I gotta get past these guys. Oh god, I did not know he was coming that way. Go, 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 go. Alright, he's on the outside of that wall. We're good, we're good. Trying to make it through here is a nightmare. It's so much easier just shooting everybody. The lead and full of mosquitoes all biting you in the deck. DMI, dude. Crap. Well, that worked a lot better than I thought it would. Where are the stairs? Is there an... Oh, is that an elevator? Oh, crap it is. Good boy. Shh. Night night. Let's see. Ah, oh, let's take a shot of vodka. Yeah, kill a man. Take a shot of vodka, you feel better. I'm on the top floor, and I found some binoculars. like yourself. I see him. General Kozlov in the flesh. The chief rat. Now listen closely, Mousy. His living quarters are in the building on your right, top floor. The time for action is now. Gather your courage and go, Mousy. Uh, what about a little help? Perhaps some kind of diversion? Yes. Luring the other predators away is always a good idea. 
Use the generator to power up the Ferris wheel. Its lights will attract them like moths. Like moths? That might work for a minute or two, but it won't last. Do you have a better idea? I might. Shut down the generator instead, and they'll be blind. Then you'll have no problem sneaking past the guards and getting to your target. Okay. I've been up this area before, but I've never done the mission. It's interesting. Can't help myself, I'm always grabbing stuff. Weird spot. Region new level. Yeah, I got a bunch of unused skill points. Just because I've been I was doing missions over and over. Because if you start changing your timeline, things can go wonky on you. And they went wonky. I had to redo a couple of timelines. Maybe we should go out to the right if we can. Oh. That's a good thing about having this uh, enemy scanner. Oh no, he's walking far enough away. All right. That new. It drove me right to it, whatever it was. Continue on here. This is exactly where we came from. That's cool. I haven't done anything by the Ferris wheel at all. This guy's just standing here. He's gonna have to go. Hopefully, don't have to use a rifle. Damn it! Damn it! He's behind cover! Flank him! 
Really? All right, is everybody dead now? Yep. All right, so it's this building right here. Got everybody else in the area. How do you go get up here? Dude, I saw you walking. Good night, 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 night. Mess that one up. There's nobody else close. Okay, I'm at the generator. Now nah, let's cut the power. I think that's a smarter decision. Don't even think about reaching for that sidearm, General Kozlov. You know, let's be straightforward. I'm not interested in talking to you, but I need to find Tachana, and you're in my way. Is that so? Those few words you just said tell me you have no idea what's going on here. Come There's on, a monster on my left. He's just trying to weasel his way out of it. Kill him now. Don't let him get in your head. I'm sorry, General. I'm not that kind of person. But you leave me no choice. Wait. You're making a huge mistake. I can tell you a great many things. Useful information. He's full of shit. Just pop him and blow. You want to know about Tatiana, right? Then you found the right man. Let's talk. Yeah, I want to duck him. Okay, I'll bite, but you better have answers. Did you think I would be impressed? I've seen these things before. 
Don't make your situation any worse than it already is. Move. Well, we're going right after him. Whoa, what the hell? So, this is what it looks like from the inside. Surprised? I guess you're not all knowing after all. Let's say terrorist hideouts are not my department. But I know everything I need to know. Is this a family meeting? What a pity. I thought we were going to talk man to man, Professor Kaminiuk. What the fuck? Why did you bring this asshole here? You were supposed to punish him for what he did, and then leave his corpse as an example. My poor fellow. I suppose you expect me to acknowledge you and apologize for something I've done. Sadly, I am forced to disappoint you. I have no idea who you are, nor do I care. I don't like this one bit. Let's put an end to this, and fast. You should be careful with that one, Kaminiuk. Women are often far more cruel than men. I've seen her kind in... Well, it hardly matters. What about you, old man? Still chasing ghosts? Did you ever find your mysterious Rat King? Perhaps you should have stayed in the institution. At least they kept you properly fed. Sashko Horobets. I admire your craft, but there's nothing I can do for you. Or your brother. We'll see about that. Are we done with introductions? Let's get to it then. You seem to be the most reasonable of this gang of colorful misfits. I was hoping you and I could have a civilized conversation. I know exactly what you're doing. It isn't particularly clever or original, and it's not going to work. What am I doing? I am a professional who happens to be on the other side of the fence. Just a man trying to do his job. I have a nephew that I very much want to see. So, go ahead and ask your questions. When you're satisfied, I'm sure we can come to some kind of arrangement. Your nephew? Tell me about him. He's ten years old. He's from Magnitogorsk, like his father and me, and he's the smartest kid I know. I don't believe for one moment that you could harm him. It simply isn't your style, Professor. Besides, you don't even know where he is. Actually, you we do not assume to know me, Koslov. That would be a mistake. Yeah, we put him, he's the one, uh, he was the kid we left in the cell. Tell me about the experiments. What is Semenov doing in the lab? I wish I could tell you, but as with tracking down trespassers, that is not my department. My task was to ensure Semenov could work undisturbed. You lie. I've seen everything. I've even studied Chernobylite myself. How can you claim to know nothing about it? I know about its applications, yes. I know that it can act as an unlimited energy source, that it can be used in transportation, medicine, and can even be weaponized. But I don't know any details about its implementation. I'm not a scientist, just an old soldier. Yes, I suppose that's true. Look, I'm not a personal friend of Semenov. His findings may be profound, but at what cost? Remember, it was Semenov who botched the experiment that released the shadows into this world. Can you guess how many people I've lost fighting those things? Don't ask me where these creatures came from, because I have no idea. From a nightmare, perhaps. Semenov has a god complex. He believes he can advance the human race, a bold claim, especially in this part of the world, no? We lived in the shadow of people who wanted to turn us simple bread eaters into angels for almost the entire century. But I've been around. I've seen things. So you can understand why I'm skeptical when I hear such claims. Damn. Semenov may be the brain, but he isn't responsible for the atrocities in the zone. That's your doing. Hmm. <clears throat> you seem like a smart fellow, Kaminiuk. Why would you buy into this nonsense? What do you mean? Whatever Semenov told you, he is the real puppet master. He has great influence over the board. The board? The big money people in the tailored Italian suits. The people who make money by making money. Semenov convinced the board he's going to transform NAR into a trillion dollar business. To them, 
He's like an investment banker messiah. Semenov isn't rounding people up and torturing them, filling mass graves with civilian corpses. That's you. Well, naturally, you'll get a distorted view of what's going on when you only hear one side of the story. Uh-huh. What's your side of the story, then? This is a war zone. I am responsible for keeping my men safe and doing my job. Some collateral damage is unavoidable in any conflict. But trust me when I say I've already had a belly full of civilian misery. I do my absolute best to keep their suffering to a minimum. Yeah, I don't believe that last one. I'm only really interested in one thing. Where is Tatiana? That ghost you're chasing. That pretty dream. I don't know what to tell you. You're the head of security. Am I to believe you're not privy to everything that goes on at the power plant? Professor Kameniuk, listen. I am here to earn a little extra money so I can retire someplace nice and send my nephew to an Ivy League university. I have zero interest in anything that doesn't directly concern my men and my job. You don't tell me. I swear. I cannot tell you what I do not know, Professor. Semenov is the authority in this area. Talk to him if you want to know more about the experiments or this Tatiana girl. How do I enter that power plant? You're placing me in a very awkward position. You want me to divulge information that may lead to casualties among my men and the civilian staff. <laughs> You've got a real nerve talking to me about civilian casualties. I can't believe you would try that. Again, what is the password and response for accessing the power plant? Don't be stupid. You and your merry band of trumps will never make it out of the power plant alive. I don't care. Do you know where we are right now? No. I don't understand it, this place. But let's skip the guessing game and you just tell me. We are currently in the tunnel between two singularities. It's like a black hole, only smaller. This tunnel is a shortcut through time and space. Marvelous, isn't it? But to use it, you need to know how to enter and how to leave. Ah, I see where this is going. Do you? I don't have to kill you. I can simply leave you here. But don't count on dying anytime soon. Time dilation will ensure that you don't. You will never see your nephew again. But perhaps I will release you to attend his funeral when he's died of old age. I can see that your companion's cruel nature is beginning to rub off on you. Very well. Are you ready to cooperate now? If you lie to me, I will return and it won't go well for you. The call is, we quell the storm. The response, and ride the thunder. Thank you. I'm glad we had this chance to talk. What to do with you now, eh? It's too dangerous to let him live. I believe we already agreed on that. I want to ask him about wrestling first. He's mine. I want him to experience a slow descent into hell. Fucker! He's just a tool of the Rat King. He told you everything of value already. Do not let this rodent roam free. He can still do great damage to our cause, more even than before. Oh, man. So the fun thing is I have enough uh, Chernobylite to go back and change this decision if it goes bad, but let's find out what happens when we kill Kozlov. Sorry, I can't let you go. Never You're said I was going to. Mistake, Professor. One you will dearly regret. Uh. Yeah, let Sasha have him. I promised Sashko. Let me ask some questions about why Ruslan died, not send him to his ancestors. You've seen enough bloodshed, Igor. Go now. This is no way for a man to die by the hands of a thief, a common lowlife criminal. Damn you. Yeah, well, if some jackass killed my brother, I'd probably do the same damn thing. Mikhail wasn't involved. 
Uh oh. All right, so he gets a double. He don't. She does. Oh, man, what happened to my brains? Get that whiskey. Oh, I said it again. Sorry, vodka. How dare I? And we need to clean up. No. Nope. All right, let's see what goes off next. Igor, I need to tell you something. Remember when you asked me why the lurkers stay away from our village? I wasn't entirely honest with you. All right. I don't know exactly how it works, but Mave has a way of keeping these creatures at a distance. He has this strange powder. He calls it dust, but it's secret. Only a handful of people even know it exists. Dust? Why are you telling me about this? Because I can see you for what you are now. And what's that? A forthright, honorable man. Maybe a little awkward in social situations. Anyway, it'll help us in your heist. You should get your hands on some as soon as possible. You know what? You never know. Well, if it works, there must be something to it. I should definitely look into it. You should. Okay. I'll check it out first chance I get. Okay, so let's let's look at our heist here. Yeah. Oh, look at that. I still have. I've got two inv. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Okay. So, folks, if you haven't already, hit that like button. Subscribe if you made it to the end, cause you know you wanna. Let me know down in the comments. Should we start the heist? Or keep going with the story? Only you true fans and subscribers that make it to the end, I will listen to. So keep your heads down. Your guns up. And I'll see you again real damn soon.